These people are monsters. <laughs> Oprah and Tyler Perry created an alliance that has done nothing but keep African-American artists um, working for bottom pay and bottom tier. Do you think Oprah betrayed Michael? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, 100%. As disturbing accusations surface, Jaguar Wright sheds light on a side of Oprah that few have seen, exposing a tangled web of control, alliances, and the alleged exploitation of black women in Hollywood. Could this be the beginning of the end for the queen of daytime TV? Jaguar Wright's outspoken critics of the entertainment industry have turned the spotlight on one of its most powerful figures, Oprah Winfrey. Her friendly relationship with controversial figures like Harvey Weinstein Weinstein and Diddy paints a complex picture of Oprah's role within Hollywood. Oprah's history is now under scrutiny, as some claim her relationships with industry giants have perpetuated toxic power dynamics. Go back to the Golden Globes for a second. Oprah is now being criticized for her speech that night by a very unlikely star. Me too. Three days after Oprah publicly supported victims of sexual assault in the wake of numerous allegations against Harvey Weinstein, singer Seal Instagram this meme. Showing Winfrey kissing the disgraced mogul, it reads, when you have been part of the problem for decades, but suddenly they all think you are the solution. Please welcome Seal! The 54-year-old who's appeared on Oprah's show captioned his post, Oh, I forgot, that's right, you'd heard the rumors, but you had no idea he was actually serially assaulting young starry-eyed actresses. My bad. While Weinstein maintains his innocence, Seal hasn't commented further, and Oprah has not responded. This moment is a really powerful time for everybody to get woke. Fans have come to her defense, pointing out Winfrey is a sexual assault survivor. They also posted pics of Seal's ex, Heidi Klum, kissing Weinstein, too. How are you? I am here. Today on Ellen, Oprah was busy dealing with the aftermath of a natural disaster. The neighbors out back, their houses are gone. The celeb neighbors FaceTimed as Winfrey showed the devastation and rescue efforts after deadly mudslides hit their Montecito, California enclave. We're going to do what great Americans do all the time. We're going to help each other. Yes. We're going to help each other out. Wherever yes, we are. Jaguar Wright, an industry insider, claims that Oprah's influence goes beyond the image of empowerment she projects. Wright argues that Oprah's power has been wielded strategically to control narratives, suppress dissent, and protect her network within Hollywood. What do all these people have in common? They've all been touched by the Oprah effect. The Oprah effect, I would say, is the benefit you get when Oprah decides to endorse your product. Oh, that's good! Even Barack Obama is said to have won both his presidential bids with the help of Oprah's blessing. There are some people here who are here to see Oprah. But of all the celebrities in the world who've appeared on her show, who out there is the greatest beneficiary of the Oprah effect? Oh, it's definitely Oprah herself. She's got a fortune of 3.4 billion. That makes her one of the, the, the richest people in the world. I mean, she's been referred to as one of the most powerful people in the world, which I think uh, maybe is a little hyperbole. I'm not so sure. I mean, who else out there has the power to do this? Everybody gets a call! This is the story of Oprah and her effect on the world. Wendy Williams, a well-known television host and media personality, has also found herself at the center of discussions about Oprah's role in Hollywood. Jaguar Wright suggests that Williams's recent struggles may stem from conflicts with Oprah. Wright argues that this suppression has affected not only Williams, but other black women in the industry who have dared to speak out. This isn't the first time Oprah has been accused of sidelining Wendy, as reports suggest she has assisted other Hollywood moguls in launching their careers. Notably, P. Diddy sought advice from Okra when attempting to purchase a channel from Comcast, showcasing the TV mogul's influence in the industry. In 1994, Wendy Williams began her career at New York City's Hot 97 radio station, coinciding with the rise of bad boy records. Oprah's relationships with black women in Hollywood have often been fraught. One of the most prominent examples is her long-standing feud with comedian Monique. Known for her role in Precious, Monique has repeatedly alleged that Oprah, alongside director Lee Daniels and producer Tyler Perry, contributed to her being blackballed in Hollywood. Hollywood. Now here comes the show, and here comes the commercials, 
And now I'm starting to see my mother and my father and my other brother who was my manager. We didn't discuss that Oprah. Wait, he was your manager and he went to Oprah? Wasn't my manager Tom. Okay. I, now I had already, you know, fired him. Gotcha. So I'm watching this show and I'm watching my father sit there who was a strong alcoholic. I'm watching him drunk. I'm watching my mother be greedy. I'm watching my other brother, who was my manager, be greedy. I know my family. And I'm watching my brother who molested me sit on this stage, trying to paint this picture of I'm trying to be a help, but now I'm watching the scam. As much as they keep talking, I'm seeing the scam take place. Well, when it was all said and done, Oprah Winfrey calls me. Mm. And in that moment, I was still stuck in, this is Oprah Winfrey. How do I say, you had my mother, my father, my other brother, and I'm stuck in that moment. And when we hung up that phone, my husband looked at me and said, what's wrong with you? That's not what we made of. You know how you felt about that and how you feel about that. And you need to let that woman know, I don't care about a title and a position. That's not what you cut from. So it was my obligation to let Oprah Winfrey know how I really felt. Now I want you to understand something too. See, this is why me and Oprah Winfrey got a problem. It's still, it's still, it's still there. Until that woman says, let me apologize to you publicly, it'll be to the day I leave this earth because what you did was malicious and it was intentional and it was ugly. If Oprah was watching this, what would you tell her? I would say, Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. Similarly, actress Taraji P. Henson has shared emotional accounts of her struggles in Hollywood, hinting at behind-the-scenes conflicts with influential figures. Although Henson has not named Oprah directly, her struggles resonate with the narrative Wright presents. The recent allegations against Diddy have added a new layer to the conversation about Oprah's influence. Known for his elaborate parties and ties to powerful individuals, Diddy now faces severe accusations, including claims of abuse by ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura and allegations linked to trafficking. Amid these charges, Oprah's association with Diddy has drawn increased public attention. Yeah, I agree with you, man. That's crazy, man. But why haven't any of Diddy's friends spoke up for him? My man, listen here. All those ones, all, the, all those ones who made it to the Diddy party, to the after party, and to the hotel lobby. <laughs> They not going to ruin their brand. They not going to say nothing. Man, I was watching the other day. Listen to me. They did that They on Channel 2 News here in New York. Gail King and Nate and that other guy, they were talking about, they showed the, the uh, him beating Cassie and they showed him uh, the apology in the whole nine yards. All they said is that we have commentary about that, but we got to go to a commercial. They never came back and said nothing about it. I was like, yo, damn. He still got power like that? Somebody still like him like that? Because you know he was running with Oprah and them. He was running with that whole crew. Weinstein, Oprah, Epstein, he was running with that whole crew. They want to know how we're going to do it, how the public is going to take him. Is the public going to uh, let him back in? And the public is not. The public is already canceling him. I don't believe the industry has canceled him yet. All those people who went to those Diddy parties, not one of them had came out and denounced what he has done. I haven't heard one of them. I have not heard one person denounce, well, man, let, 
Let God handle it. Let get the hell out of here. Joe Rogan and Candace Owens have both publicly criticized Diddy's alleged actions, with Owens highlighting what she perceives as a media cover-up surrounding the allegations. People that were above him, music executives. And none of this is shocking, really. I think, you know, yesterday a, a report came out that showed that faith in the mainstream media is at an all-time low, right? I think something like 65% uh, of Americans no longer trust the mainstream media. The Diddy case is a perfect example as to why that is. You know, you, you have people that spent so much time defending this man. This man was allowed to be with every presidential candidate. He was allowed to throw parties. He was hailed as a hero. And yet behind the scenes, everyone knew that this is what he was engaged in. This was an open secret in Hollywood. In fact, when Kanye last year said that he was a Fed and started speaking about some of these allegations, he was simply dismissed as crazy. People at the upper echelons of society and politics knew about this and they were okay with it. Fundamentally, because he was acting a part, I very much believe what Kanye alleged, that he was acting a part like Jeffrey Epstein, in which he was collecting blackmail um, over various people that were in Hollywood. And so, like I said, we're at the beginning, we're scratching the surface of this scandal. There are some more big names um, that are going to have to answer for it. And I think also the silence of certain individuals like LeBron James is quite deafening. A person who uh, claims to care so much about black life, you know, black lives matter on the ground taking a kneel okay that's fine but now you have a friend of yours who has been on camera beating a black woman okay you said nothing when that happened you also know that you have various black people speaking out about how they were abused by him and you have said nothing so i i don't like the hypocrisy behind that yeah i think it's a good point i mean mark uh, there are lots of big names being dragged into this we don't know where the truth lies with that yet. But certainly people like LeBron have been deafening with their silence for the reasons that Candice just articulated. Uh, you know, it reminds me a little bit of Epstein in, in relation to all the apparent taping of videos and pictures and stuff that was allegedly going on. And we'll see what, what, what that plays out like in a courtroom. Uh, but it also reminds me of Harvey Weinstein. As Jaguar Wright, Joe Rogan and others have pointed out, Hollywood's handling of controversies is inconsistent, especially concerning prominent black figures. Learn it? Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Whoa, bro, 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 bro. The contrasting media treatment of high-profile cases exposes Hollywood's double standards. When black men or women are accused of wrongdoing, their images are often widely publicized and scrutinized. I'm tired of the rhetoric of, oh, you sell out in Hollywood because you wore a dress. Negro, I wore a dress. It's called White Chicks. You know what we did? We did a classic. Only black people sit there and go, Man, our brothers wearing dresses. Oh, so white people, when they wear dresses, when Robin Williams wears a dress Ms. and Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire, he's brilliant. When Tom Hanks wears um, a dress in Bosom, Bosom Buddies, Buddies, oh, he's brilliant, right? Mm -hmm. Bl uh, Dust when Dustin Hoffman wears a dress Tootsie. in Tootsie, yes. he wins an Oscar. Mm -hmm. Black people... As soon as we put on a dress, we start tearing each other down. Oprah Winfrey's influence in Hollywood is undeniable. For Wright, this alleged control over the industry comes at a cost, particularly to black women. She argues that the very individuals who should be celebrated for their strength and resilience often face significant barriers when they challenge established norms. We go exclusive. Uh, if the channel is gone tomorrow, everyone, you will know why uh, some things are too exclusive. But can you elaborate a little bit more on it? Because because you, uh, it's just... Oprah Winfrey has been tied to so many awful people. Yeah. And the things that she's done throughout the years have only been in service to certain people. She called herself a friend to Luther Vandross and the way, the way she exploited him at the end of his life. But she's also friends with Clive Davis. Clive Davis was managing Ruth Van Dross, mm -hmm. just like he managed Janis Joplin, just like he managed Whitney Houston. You know, Oprah, when she first did that hit piece on Monique, it was terrible. And then to watch the way Lee Daniels, Oprah, and Tyler Perry created an alliance that has 
done nothing but keep African American artists um, working for bottom pay and bottom tier while still putting out Oscar winning and award winning content. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, there we go. Okay, because that's kind of where we were all at with it. And that you young know, man that I was speaking to actually referred to her later in that conversation as the Black Ghislaine Maxwell. Recent claims from singer Jaguar Wright have stirred public curiosity regarding the extent of Oprah Winfrey's involvement in some troubling Hollywood circles. Wright accuses Oprah of being part of a cover-up for Sean Diddy Combs' alleged controversial activities, tying the media mogul to questionable associations amid Diddy's recent legal troubles. Diddy, currently under investigation following accusations of abuse from ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura faces severe allegations that have drawn attention to Hollywood's darker undercurrents. Further, Wright's claims touch on deeper issues in the industry, including alleged manipulation and exploitation at parties involving illicit substances and disturbing power dynamics. She speaks out against societal narratives that exploit identities and influence societal norms, alluding to deeper agendas within Hollywood's elite circles. Well, in addition to that and a whole lot of other stuff that she did over the years, watch this, while supporting the Harvey Weinsteins of the world. One of the most notorious, incredibly alleged um, sexual assaulters, and he's been obviously uh, convicted of interrelated uh, crimes. She kept that on the low low while she used her platform against her own people. This resurfaced clip, watch this, uh, as this white woman calls in to the show, and I want you to pay attention to how Oprah responds. The gentleman with the hair would sit next to me, the Edward. way he's dressed, no, he's no you. <laughs> um, I would grab my purse and probably move to another seat. It's because of his looks, it's scary. <laughs> That's because, of, that's she because of, it's out of her culture. Well, that's interesting. Clarify, madam, what you're saying. What does the word scary mean? Oh, uh, gee, I don't know. Uh, well, now would be a very good time to figure it out. Well, what does the word scary mean? That is my question. Well, you would frighten me. The, I understand that. General. What does the word scary mean? Or, same question, why would I frighten you? I haven't been in a fight well, since I was in I eighth think, grade. Well, you're probably not normally dressed up in a suit. Um, you just look like you're a tough guy. If she went to Jamaica, if she went to Jamaica, she'd be fighting all the time. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, madam, let me then answer the question. So, what is it? Is it because of the, because of the way he's dressed, the color of his skin, or his hair? Is it his hair? And, yes, so, yes. And I'm sure he's not always dressed in a suit. Uh, you know, he helps. He so, does that mean you're frightened of all men who are not dressed in suits? No, no. Okay. But, it's just the garb I think that would scare me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is interesting, madam. Let me then advance this point. I speak of the old racism, which was pre-Dr. Doctor, uh, Doctor Martin Luther King. I didn't speak of the new racism. One of the things you have to understand about racists or about yourself is racists are inherently intellectual cowards. They won't come out and say, I hate because I hate story over. What they will do is take pseudo facts. They will take facts that are not true and use that as the intellectual pyramid to come to a conclusion that is inaccurate. If you actually want to talk about the statistics, if you are afraid of me on that bus, I don't ride on buses, because you think I'm going to murder you, there is no statistical basis for that. You are more likely to be murdered by your husband, by your son, by your brother. If you are afraid of me sitting next to you on that bus that I don't ride on, because you are afraid that I'm going to rape you, statistically, your boyfriend, your husband, is more probably going to be the rapist. So I'm saying you are the manifestation of the new racism and you have used the same pseudo intellectual statistics to construct a racist position. Thank you, Carla. I'm sure you didn't know you did all that with one phone call. <laughs> okay, did you all see that? This is why we call her Okra Winfrey, Winfrey and a homegirl, Kale King. Adding to the controversy, Dr. Umar Johnson has voiced concerns over Oprah's vast influence, arguing that her power intimidates many in Hollywood. He suggests that few are willing to risk their careers by challenging her, and Wright's allegations resonate with these sentiments, painting a picture of an industry controlled by a select few. This raises questions about the true cost of success in Hollywood and whether systemic changes are needed. Kanye's words remind fans that Hollywood's glitch 
glitz and glamour hide a darker reality, and his outspokenness has brought those issues into the spotlight. Whether or not Jay-Z and Beyoncé will respond remains to be seen, but one thing's certain, Kanye's warning has set the stage for a dramatic chapter in the world of entertainment. 